So welcome back. As you can see on this episode, we are now building the railings for our inside stair build. And as you just seen with me taking some measurements inside, I've started recording this episode before I even finish the other one. Hopefully I'll watch the last episode where we installed the landing platform, the main I-beam that supports the treads and then all the woodwork. So now we actually have functioning stairs in the house. But in order to make everything safe and meet code, we have to put our railings in. So what I am doing right here is laying out the spacing for my horizontal railings that are about to go in. Code states that a four inch sphere cannot fit through your railings. Doesn't matter if it's horizontal or horizontal railing, excuse me, like we're doing or vertical railings. And that's supposedly so a small child or baby's head can't fit through and well, they could not fall. So I had to do some quick math. I'm using three quarter inch square tubing, had to take that into consideration. And I have determined that I have to do seven different horizontal railings in the space that I'm working with here in order to qualify for that code rule. One important note, everybody keeps asking me, how are you doing this whole build technically by yourself? Well, as y'all can see in the last episode, I had to call some people in, things are too heavy, but I'm making everything as modular as I can. I'm not welding up all the railing out here together, which would never fit in the door. All these pieces are gonna go in small sections of time that me or me and Tiffany can handle, and I can bolt in piece by piece. You'll see how all that's gonna work in this episode. Thanks for watching. All right, so having worked on this metal for a little while now, one thing that I can offer and let y'all know that has helped me out tremendously is this Rust-Oleum Automotive Primer. You can actually get this at Walmart or you can order it off of Amazon, but it's called a filler primer. I've been using a filler and sandable primer. This is my first one I bought that says just filler. But long story short, I've been going over everything, grinding, grinding it as smooth as I can, going over the wire wheel, but grinding will leave little faint marks and things uh, in there that if you paint, well, the paint doesn't fill those marks in and you wind up seeing it through. And black is very reflective, shows blemishes bad, especially in a semi-gloss like I'm painting. So long story short, this automotive filler primer does a wonderful job of filling in all those little indentions and marks and leaves you with a nice smooth finish.
All right, my friends, here is your first completed look at all of the horizontal railing. Now I say completed, the metal work is completed. We still have one more episode left. I'll explain here in just one second. Let's take a walk up here. Okay, so the metalwork is complete, and I must admit, this section of railing behind me going down the stairs was one of the more difficult things that I've done in this entire house build. It was more complicated and fought me more than anything else I can remember in me building my entire house. So yes, I had already planned on having y'all video out by now. All of this railing up top knocked it out quick. I'm talking a couple of days, got it out. I eventually had to walk away from this railing going down the stairs. You have so many odd angles there and so much stuff changes as you weld. Things heat uh, and expand and they cool down and shrink. And I literally had to cut sections of this railing out two to three different times, rebuild certain parts just to try to get it all bolted together. I still have some gaps and a few little pieces to work out, maybe make a trim piece or two. But at this point, <laughs> I'm done with the metalwork. I'm not going to fight it anymore. So I decided to go ahead and release this video because it's running a bit long and y'all have been asking where is the railing videos? So what's coming up in the next video? You're going to notice some of that expansion and contraction I talked about. I've got top flat bar up here and you can see some of it's a little bent but it flexes really easy. The reason this is here is we're now in the next episode going to build custom uh, pine wood caps. We're going to route it nice and smooth. We have some really odd angles to meet together and corners to meet. And we want this to look good and look like a seamless flowing piece, but it has to come in in multiple pieces. We're gonna sand that down, prep it, poly coat it. So that'll be a whole nother episode in and of itself. And then the last thing to do to finish off the loft completely is to put some trim all the way around the room. And the loft is completely done. I have my office up here now. We can move on into, well, networking, ethernet, internet, as well as an office desk, things like that we're all gonna make on the channel. So here it is, hopefully you enjoyed it. Second to last episode. I'm excited about the next one because now I'm finally done with metal work. And don't get me wrong, I've enjoyed the metal work other than that railing down here, hated it. Uh, and looking forward to jumping into the wood caps. I think that's really gonna finish this off and give it such a beautiful, nice touch. I could have stopped up here with just metal and I really considered it, but I wanted to take it an extra step further and finish it out with the same pine that you're seeing all throughout this build. All right, thank y'all so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next episode.